Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, man. You, thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, please do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll let you know when I drop another video. And if you are new here, make sure you put it in the comment section. I'm new here. All right, so today what I'm going to do is actually show you how to set up the push to inside of Reaper. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Reaper, and basically we're gonna have the push actually doing stuff on here as well. So we wanna actually get it set up to where the push is actually working inside of Reaper. Let's get that started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go to this site, and this is driven by Moss for Reaper. He has some nice scripts in here that he created for Bitwig that also work in Reaper. So uh, if you go down on the page, he has a video showing you how to actually install it. He also has a document inside the download that will walk you through setting it up as well. All right. And if you scroll down, you see he has the push to, he has some Akai Fire stuff, Atoria stuff, some Mackie stuff, some native instrument things, some innovation things. So yeah, so all of these, controllers are included in this bundle. So you go to this driven by Ross, he has for Windows, Mac, and for Linux. So I downloaded the Windows one and I'll show you where to install it. All right, so once you download it, what you wanna do is go up here to your options and you wanna go to where it says show Reaper resources path in Explorer Finder. You get this window that pops up and it's, this is where all your Reaper stuff is actually located. So you wanna scroll down to where it has user plugins. All right, and once you're in user plugins, this is where you wanna drop your stuff. So you wanna drop this driven by Moss DLL file, this Java runtime, which comes with the, the download, and this driven by Moss LIBS folder. All right, so when you download it, this is what the folder will have inside of it. It will have your docs. So you can go into the documents and find the documents and the other three things that you need. So you need this, you need this Java, and you need this Reaper driven by Moz DLL file. The resources is for other machines and uh, different uh, devices that you can add. So those that's what the resource is for, so you don't need that. So you need this, this, and this, and make sure that it's in the user plugins in the Reaper folder. All right, and once you have that set up, you can keep going on and setting up the rest of it. So you wanna to go to options again, and you wanna go down to preferences, click on preferences, and you wanna scroll down to where it says control OSC web. Like I said, all this is on his site and he has a video showing you how to do this, but I'm just gonna show you real quickly as well. So go into uh, add, and you wanna see this control services mode. If you don't see this driven by Moss for Reaper in here, then you messed up somewhere on the install for the plugin, all right? So make sure this is in there, click okay, and you'll have it in here inside of your control services, right? So you can double click this and it'll give you an option to uh, configure. So you click on configure here. And this, this is the window that you'll see, it'll tell you all your configurations. Um, you can hit this plus sign with the detect and it should detect your push. If I click it now, I should see my uh, MK3 and the S keyboard. Yep, so the Native Instruments keyboard is right here and the MK3 is here as well. So he made a script for both of those. I'm just gonna remove them off here because I don't need them. And you are set to go once you actually add this on here and you see that it's green, you're all good to go with the push. All right, so in here, what you want to do is actually be able to create another track. So you're going to hit on this button here that says Add Device. And it does give you a list of a couple of things you can change. I don't know how to move them along because the arrow thing doesn't work to move it on. So I'm not sure how to move to like the next screen. It might be like a shift. Yeah, so I'm not sure how to move along the line. But if you hit on top of it, it'll pull up one of the things. So I'm just going to pull up some addictive keys just so... I can just have something in here. And as you see, it's pulling up inside of Reaper as well. And 
what you want to do now is hold down this select down here and you want to arm it all right so now we have it set up to where we can kind of do a couple of things inside here i can go back to the mixer and now you see i have addictive keys there and it's highlighted with the red to let me know that i can it is armed and ready to go um, let's set a tempo really quick and you see the tempo display on the screen there so i'm just do some boom bap stuff so let's go let's say uh let's go 88. seems like a pretty good tempo so we have that tempo there and then we can make the fixed length and make sure it's on you know whatever bars you want. I'm gonna put it on four bars. So now it's ready, it's armed. And um, if I hit on new on here, it'll actually create that whole little template and actually start my net metronome and everything. So I'm gonna hit new on here so you can see it pop up. And as you see, it created the track. So if I double click on the play button, it'll go back to the beginning of the track. All right. So now that we have this in here, we should be able to like record something. Uh, I'm just going to try to record something in here just by hitting the record button and it'll start my metronome. See, I have my metronome set on. So I'll get my account in for my uh, two bars and then I can come in. Boom, you just made a nice little four bar loop and then we can always add more sounds. Let's add something else in here. Let's do a empty track. And now we can even browse through some sounds. Hit the browse on here and I can go through all my sounds that I have on here. And let's see, let's start, let's go, let's go with the labs, right? And if I want to add this, I can just hit add device here. And it will add those labs onto that track. All right, I'm just going to change the instrument itself. Let's do a string ensemble. So now... Oh, I still have it set on this one to arm. So I'm going to take off the arm on that one. Let's go to this one. Select and go to arm this one. So now this one. So I'm going to hit the new on here and it'll make that track. So um, the weird thing is that it'll actually just start, you know, recording and actually playing all the way through. But um, at least it does make that um, MIDI track for you. And then I can just kind of add something on here. So I'm going to hit record. Something really simple just to kind of add that in there. And then of course, you know, you can go and add a track. Let's do some uh, addictive drums. Let's go back to this instrument. Let's take off the record arm. Let's go to the addictive drums. Let's put the, drum, the arm on. All right, so what's cool about this is that I can actually set a repeat option in here. So hit the repeat and I'm putting on one eighth. One A for the repeat, and this is what it'll have that kind of sound to it. And then I can even do a quantize. So if I hit on quantize, 
and I can record the quantize when it's coming in. So let's do 116th for the quantize when it's actually being recorded. All right, so I'm just going to record these uh, hi hats in here. I'm going to take off this repeat. All right, so there we have it. So we have some uh, drums made. We have a couple of things laid out here. And this is just pretty much uh, the beginning of the track. So as you see, it gives you some options inside of the push to actually associate with Reaper. And of course you can bring up like your mixer and do like your panning and volume control and be able to arm your tracks, which is really cool, man. Like I think this is like uh, a nice way to, to use this inside of Reaper. Uh, is it something that you need? Probably not. <laughs> but it is something fun, something to kind of get used to, something to uh, experiment with. And with that being said, this is pretty much the end of this video. I just wanted to kind of show you guys me setting this up and just making a really quick little something here. Uh, this to show you kind of how it functions and moves around. But that's pretty much it. Uh, if you do like this kind of content, make sure you guys are leaving a like, make sure you are commenting, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And with that being said, that's the end of this video. And once again, it's your boy, X dot, E dot, L dot, O. Till next time, people. Peace.